today on Cooking with Katie Pie, we're going to make BBQ. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, like, I'm not really sure what happened last night. I don't know, I woke up in the middle of the night and my wife was wearing a shirt with Easy e ironed on, it was weird. And she was talking about doing trains and don't understand what happened. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on, yo? My eyes are burning. We had a blast last night on Blog TV. We started the CK co-host train. The largest amount of co-host in the shortest amount of time. Actually getting to see the faces of who the commenters are, viewers and that kind of stuff, just makes it so much more fun. Thank y'all for everybody that came by and stopped by and said hey. And it is Saturday morning. This morning we are going to the doggy park. Like she's wanting to jump out of the window right now. <laughs> when we move back, we've got to get her a friend to play with. Whenever we move back, I'm gonna be not working from home anymore. And she's so attached. Like, I don't know if y'all saw any Twitter pics or anything, but like she sleeps at my feet, on my feet at my desk. Like, she is just has to be around at all times. Oh, big thanks to Mama Bean, Mama the Coco Bean, if you are watching. Uh, got in touch with her and she was able to send us some pictures. Thank you so much. I didn't want to annoy you or anything and I know y'all were busy with friends in town and um, stuff like that. So I just, uh, that was really cool of her to still send those pictures with such last minute notice. Some type of party going down in this mug. It's like some carnival or festival over here. I see a big jumpy house, is that for dogs? <laughs> I hope the dog park's even open, Ada. Look at that cute little thing. <laughs> so excited. Doggies everywhere. Doggies everywhere. Fight. Ada said, what? What are y'all doing? Hey, here goes. My name's Ada. Look at her just prancing. <laughs> you like a dog, that is amazing. Out here just running around like nothing. Okay guys, it is catter day and I forgot that we don't have any cat food. So I'm having to make a boom. Last minute trip here. Cooking with Katie Pie. OMG, I was just about to show you guys what I was making for dinner and the crock pot broke. Look, ready? Went to take it off and I went, what is this about? This is not okay. Like, it's not even, it's not even like it just kind of came off. It like, be roke. Be roke. So now how am I supposed to get this hot top off? I don't know. Well, I mean, I can stick a spoon up under it. But we've only had this crock pot since we got married like four years ago, five years ago. Oh, I'm kind of scared to get it off. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that's no good. It's gonna be really hot, so I already used this. Some good old BBQ that's not BBQ'd up yet. This is some pork picnic is what it's called. Oh, wow. Look at that. I mean, I would call that done. Put in any type of Coke or something, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, whatever. Some people do root beer and they really like root beer in it. I put in mine a little bit of cheer wine. Not Chewini, cheer wine. Colin, who's this made by? Oh, family owned, it's 1917, okay. I put some barbecue sauce in there. I also seasoned the pork before I put it in there with some season, uh, no, not seasoned salt, I wouldn't have done that. A little bit of garlic powder, cumin, and a little bit of chili powder. If y'all follow me on Pinterest, there's probably like 
four different random Pinterest barbecue pulled pork things because I take recipes and look at like seven different ones and then put them all together and make what I want to out of it. I also put in some sliced up onions. Put it in the crock pot on low for six hours, which I actually added an extra hour, so it's been seven hours. Seven hours is definitely falling off the bone, so I put the pork in a separate like bowl or something, mix it up with some barbecue sauce, and then you got your barbecue sandwiches. So we got our hamburger buns, we got our dill pickles. We're about to have us some BBQ up in this hizzy for shizzy. Now this is what we call barbecuing. We're barbecuing. We're not grilling out. It's in the crock pot, but it's barbecue because there's barbecue sauce. Obviously. Duh. BBQ has been pulled off the bone. It is in here and it is ready to get ready. Sorry for those of you that do not eat meat and do not like the sight of meat being prepared to be eaten. <laughs> All right, and this, guys, is the finished product. Look at that barbecue with the barbecue sauce, and it is gonna be delish. Sometimes I make my own homemade barbecue sauce with mustard, ketchup, vinegar, and... I said stop! But this time I just cheated and used Kraft Original. So for the sauce that I put on it after it came out of there into here, I used this and I did like two big massive, you know, squeeze, squeeze, and it like bloop, bloop, mustard. I added mustard. Here's my here's my description of how much I put in there. Maybe like a cup of barbecue sauce and then I will like for about that long of the mustard. So the mustard was like this much. Is this cooking with Katie Pie? Let's get, Holy mackerel Moses Let's Jesus. get the taste test approval. Oh my gosh, here we go. Okay, ready? This should be like the thing from now on. <sighs> um, cue slow-mo. <laughs> yeah, slow-mo that because you always slow-mo meat. Wait, did you even taste it while you were eating it? Oh my gosh. Was it good? No, seriously. Honest opinion. Quit, Freaking amazing. Quit acting like you have to say it's good. Was no, it really no, good? No, it was really good. I'm glad you left it in there for another hour. Yeah, or because it, was. it yeah. But golly, Moses. Can I, like, just eat this raw? Well, well raw, it's cooked. I mean, yeah. like, without. No, we're putting it on buns. Stop. Oh, my gosh. Here's our buns. Yo, Stop. My wife is the best cook ever in the whole wide world. <laughs> no. And here's our fries. I know these are not of the YouTube. Oh, yeah. Snap, dog. We just uh, did Blog TV with OSSF. Oh, yeah. That was so fun. They were having a good time playing uh, 20 questions and... <laughs> they, they, they did charades. They tried to do charades and they were like, oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was good. Yeah. I thought they were doing a good time. Yeah. <coughs> wow, these fries taste like McDonald's. <laughs> Without the Mickey. <coughs> Are you okay? Nope. Have you ever... <coughs> oh, God, that's the weirdest thing. You know, and like, you breathe in when you're eating something and it goes up into your nose, but it's like a french fry. It's not just an, a liquid. That's not very I don't know. These are probably okay. <clears throat> I'm still choking. Don't worry about me. Okay, so if you missed Blog TV last night, you missed our big reveal that we showed everybody. And uh, it was pretty fun. Typically, if you've seen all our other blog, blog vlogs, blog TVs, we have Easy e and C-Nuts co-host with us. And so last night we had a little surprise, and here's the surprise. You can't see it. First one, boom! C nuts in the hizzy. And if you're wearing it and you dance, C nuts dances. <laughs> and then after that, we had another surprise pop out of the closet. That didn't sound like good. He, but he didn't come boom. out. Boom! <laughs> and if you, little, if you wear it and you dance, he dances. Little bobblehead. <laughs> Little bobblehead easy -E there. So thank you so much, Mama Bean. I already thanked her this morning in the uh, vlog for sending us the pictures. It but, was very um, funny. And we picked, I was like, Cullen, who's going to be who? And then I was like, let's go with whose hair matches who. So I went with blonde and Cullen went with C Nuts' brown hair. Yes. Because <laughs> it matched our hair, you know? It looked good with our hair colors. Here, so. hold that one up too if you can still. And when we hugged. Doesn't C Nuts look like the guy like, from Facebook or something? He does. Hey, who was on the original Facebook? And you remember the picture of the guy on the original Facebook? It looked like this. It was like a. It wasn't icon. Mark Wahlberg. I mean, um. It was Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Yeah, it was him. But it but wasn't. It, no, but it was like a. It silhouette. was just a picture, yeah. It was silhouette. Like a silhouette. But that looks just like the silhouette that used to be on Facebook. Yes. If you're on there. Does so, it anyway, that was our little. So, here's our shirts, and so we're going to sleep in them every <laughs> night. Well, the reason we did it, we should tell that, is because. 
Colin's taking his shirt off apparently right now. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? Um, was because last week on Blog TV when they were on there, all of a sudden, AZ came out with a shirt that had Cena's face. Oh, that is it. what. Yeah, I was like, oh. Yeah. Well, and if we'd have been like really planning, he had a V neck, and we should have done a V neck. But we were just going with what we had. So these were Colin's like old undershirts that were not brand new. It was and like last minute. We last. actually the reason we had iron on transfer papers because a friend of ours we had to make something for with an iron on transfer. And so we had some extra ones and Colin was like, OMG, we should do this. And so, so we made shirts, obviously duh. We're about to go eat some barbecue. We will catch you on the flip side. Pan fries, pan fries. All aboard. Everybody get on that CK co-host train. Come on, ride that train. And ride it. Come on, ride that train. And ride it. Jump on the CK co-host train. Come to Vlog TV on Friday nights and you can ride the train too. Click on yesterday's video to see the co-host train. For tomorrow's video, click on the little icon there to the right. And then there's that big yellow subscribe button. Click on that. We will catch you on the flip side. Obviously. Duh.